Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Miss Robinson and I'm back with another math video for you guys. Today we are kicking off chapter six. And in chapter six, we are going to be focusing on division, making sure that we understand what division is and what we use it for, making sure we understand how division is actually related to multiplication, and even looking at some different strategies on how we can divide and what are the different parts of a division problem. In this lesson, we are gonna focus on one of the aspects of division, and the aspect that we're gonna be looking at in this video is understanding that division oftentimes represents sharing of items. So in this this lesson we are going to be told that we have X number of something and that we want to take that number of something and create a certain number of equal groups but we don't know how many of those some things we need to put in those equal groups and it'll all make sense as we go through the example but for the purpose of today's lesson we want to make sure that division is used when you are representing the idea of sharing that's not its only use but that is the use that we are going to be focusing on with today's video so I'm gonna set up the board get some examples going for you guys and then I'll be back with my closing thoughts for the day Here is our first example. In our first example, we are going to pretend that we are, are a baker, that we have a total of 24 cupcakes, and we want all of those cupcakes to equally fit into three boxes. But given that, I don't know what that means in terms of how many cupcakes do I need to put in each of those boxes. So the first thing that you're gonna do in this type of problem, and I've already done it for you in the interest of time, is you're gonna draw out your counters to represent your cupcakes. So these 24 X's here represent my 24 cupcakes. Since I'm putting them into three boxes, I have three boxes right there that I know I'm going to be moving those cupcakes into. Once you have that done, all you're doing is you're putting one cupcake in a box at a time until you've completely run out of cupcakes. So I'm going to start by putting one here, one there, and one there. And then I'm going to make sure to erase the three that I just put in a box because I don't want to double count them. So I erase those three. I'm going to do the same thing. One two, three, erase another three to represent the three that I just put in the box. I still have cupcakes left, so I'm gonna keep going. One, two, three, erase another three. Still cupcakes. One, two, three, erase another three. One, two, three, I'm gonna erase three more. And notice that I'm taking my time doing it one at a time. One, two, three, erase three. One, two, three, erase another three. And then one, two, three. And then I'll erase my final three. Now notice I'm out of cupcakes. Now if you're doing this on paper, you don't have to erase them, but you need to somehow X them out or do something to know that you've already placed your counters in the groups that you're creating. So now I have these three boxes with my cupcakes and these three boxes are the key to my answer. So I can look at one box and say, okay, well how many cupcakes do I have in just one box? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight in this box here. I'm gonna check my next box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight in that box as well. And then I'm going to check my last box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have eight as well. It's very important that I have the same number of cupcakes in a box because when you're dividing, you are putting your items into equal groups, which means your groups have to be the exact same size. And I've accomplished that here because each of my boxes have eight cupcakes in them. So what does that tell me about 24 cupcakes being put into three boxes? That means if I do that, I have to have eight cupcakes in each box and then my equal groups have to be eight exactly. So let's go through another example. Example in our second example we have 15 cookies and we want the, them to be put on three plates and I want to know well how many cookies do I need to put on a plate? I uh, can you guys tell I'm hungry? We were talking about cupcakes now we're talking about cookies but what can we do? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna first 
draw out again your 15 counters that will represent your 15 cookies let me draw that using black so here's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen and how you draw your counters doesn't matter i just put them out there so that they're there then i want to say okay there's my 15 cookies and now i need to create a space for my three plates so i'm going to this time i'm just going to draw circles since they're plates there's plate one plate two and then i'll put plate three over here that's my three plates which also you should recognize is going to represent three equal groups now i want to figure out well how many cookies will i put on each plate i'm going to do that one at a time so here's one cookie two cookies three cookies i'm going to erase three keep going because i have cookies left because i'm doing this until i run out of cookies one two and three erase those three i still have them left so i gotta keep going one two three erase another three one two three erase another three and then one two three that's a very messy cookie erase those three now i see that there's no more cookies left to place there's no more counters left so that means i'm done so to figure out how big my equal groups would be i'm going to look at my plates and figure out well how many cookies are on each plate i have one two three four five there okay i need to make sure i have five in the other two groups as well one two three four five good one two three four five good so i've divided them equally i have created three equal groups and the size of my equal groups would be each plate needs to have five cookies now when you're finishing up if you realize one of your groups does not have the exact same amount as the others then something's wrong and you got to go back we want to make sure that with, with division we are only dealing with equal groups so they have to be exactly the same all right, so those are your two examples on this lesson. Remember, in this lesson, we are focusing on the sharing aspect of division, making sure that we know that that's not the only reason to use division, but that is one of its main reasons. For this video and for this lesson, we wanna make sure and really, really understand that division is always going to represent equal groups. In this particular case, we were told how many equal groups we needed to have, but we didn't know how many items we could put into those equal groups. So when you're going through your problems, remember to just make sure you take your time and that you represent each item and every time you move it into your equal groups, whether it's circles, boxes, or whatever the case may be, that you remove it from the pile so that you don't double count those items. I mean, I'd like to have double the amount of cupcakes and double the amount of cookies, but for this, we don't want to do that because we don't want to get the answer wrong. So. That's it. If this video was helpful to you guys, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it when you do that. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.